Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And today I'm going to answer a query from a viewer in relation to a rather bold item of clothing and how and if it should be incorporated into his normal attire. So the question I have today is from a gentleman called Frank. Now, Frank's an interesting gentleman, uh, but more of that in a moment. What he says to me is, thank you for introducing me to the idea of buying secondhand shoes. I must admit, I shied away from the idea at first, but once I got my first pair of Loke monk strap shoes in near perfect condition for £40, the very shoe I had been planning to buy for considerably more, I became a convert. I now have several pre-owned pairs, and this leads me to my question. I couldn't resist buying a pair of suede Lambretta Chelsea boots in a sort of burgundy colour. But now I've bought them, what do I wear them with? I am 66 and wary of dressing too young for my age. Well, first of all, let's unpack this question. What Frank here says makes amazing sense. All right, He says he's bought a pair of shoes on the pre-owned market and you know he's, he's saved a pile of money. I just want to reiterate that point because I encounter so many people who often when we say, you know, why are you dressed a little shabbily? Would you like to dress smarter? Many people will put forward the suggestion that they can't afford to dress in a more formal manner, particularly when it comes to footwear, which of course can be very expensive because it's quite a, you know, it's quite a, a high value product. You're talking about leather, a lot of craftsmanship, uh, good shoes require good money to pay for, you know, and cheap shoes are inexpensive. It's the way of the world. What I would say when it comes to the pre-owned world, exactly like Frank, when you realize the bargains that are out there for a fraction of the price of the full uh, market retail value of footwear, you'll be amazed and you will suddenly start to build a collection of high quality shoes at a tiny proportion of their full price. And I'm very pleased that Frank has got on board with that idea. I was recently in a, a channel meet and greet up in London, and I was delighted as I met many of the men who had come along to that evening. Um, many of them made reference to the fact that they were wearing footwear that they had acquired through sources like eBay and Vinted and the various other auction apps. Uh, for a fraction of the price and they were wearing higher quality shoes that they would normally do so because the price point was accessible to them. So I'm great to see Frank has got on board. Um, now Frank makes reference to the fact that he is 66 and that's an important thing. You know, when it comes to how you wear clothing, uh, it, is, it is relevant to your age. You know, if I, I'm 53, if I started running around in skinny jeans and a, and, and a graphic tee t-shirt, I'm going to look ludicrous because I'm dressing like a 20 year old, not like a, 20, uh, like a 53 year old and vice versa as well. So you have to consider that as well. I'm going to talk about some of the things that Frank will have to consider, but it's important to, uh, to recall here or to put forward the fact that Frank isn't your ordinary everyday guy. All right. He's a little bit more theatrical than those of us who walk the streets normally day and night because Frank is a professional magician and he earns his living by actually doing magic tricks, uh, illusion work and so on. Uh, and he's a member of that famous group of magicians, the Magic Circle. So it's worth knowing that, that Frank has the opportunity to wear his clothing in perhaps more theatrical situations than you, know, you and I. So I'm gonna bear that in mind as we talk along, because looking at the website that Frank sent me, uh, and he's based up in Manchester here in the UK, if you're interested in a magician who can help you out with that sort of work, um, some of the images of him whilst he's delivering his you know, magic work to people shows a very smart, well-dressed man. So we're talking about somebody who is sartorially rather accomplished anyway, but what he's asking us is how can I incorporate quite a bold pair of boots into my attire. And I think he's absolutely right to do so because, you know, red Chelsea boots, this is going to be a signature item within your wardrobe. It's gonna stand out. It's gonna be very noticeable when people first meet you. So here are some things which I think you need to consider in the wearing of such bold footwear. Firstly, your personal style. 
how does this piece of new you know, footwear or whatever item that we're considering fit in to the way that you normally, generally wear your clothes. If you are somebody who is inherently rather bold, maybe experimental in the way which you approach your wardrobe, you know, something like a red uh, suede Chelsea boot isn't that far of a reach for you. You know, you're perhaps going to feel quite comfortable incorporating that into your wardrobe. You're going to feel happy with it. However, if you're very conservative in your attire, you're used to wearing muted colours, you know, blacks and dark browns, maybe introducing something as bold as a red suede Chelsea boot is going to be a bit overwhelming for you. And it's not going to fit in with the other items that you already have in your collection that you could wear it with. So think about, before you make the purchase, a bit late for Frank, he's already done it, but I know this is sort of well covered by his current wardrobe. Think about where is this item going to fit in? How is it going to match and marry with the other items that I'm likely to wear it with? That's the first thing you need to think about, your personal style and where does it fit in? And following on from that, wardrobe coordination, all right? This is also important. What's already in your collection? Because this is definitely a statement piece. You know, red boots, they're always gonna draw the eye. They're going to be highly visible when you meet people for the first time or even from a distance, let's be honest. How often? Walk around the streets today, be conscious of what people are wearing on their feet. How many times are you gonna pass somebody wearing red boots today? it's going to be an extreme rarity. So, you know, think about how they're going to fit in with that wardrobe coordination that you already have. Do you own lots of dark muted colors? Or do you own maybe a lots of chinos with bright colors? And that red is gonna fit lovely. Maybe a khaki colored uh, pair of chinos, a navy pair of chinos, it's going to be perfect. I have to admit, I have owned a pair of red, suede desert boots made by British company Grenson. A few years ago, they had um, a crepe sole and they were a little bit more formal than a, a standard sort of desert boot. They were uh, very smart, actually. I'm very sad that the crepe sole fell apart and it was unrepairable. Uh, so I had to throw them away after a number of years of use. But I actually found them far more versatile than you would imagine within my wardrobe. I tended to wear them with chinos. I could wear them with jeans. Um, if you've got a lighter colored pair of trousers, maybe even gray flannel slacks within the right ensemble of clothing, it's going to work. So think about how it's gonna marry and match. And you know, but in, do in so doing, remember these red boots are a statement piece, all right? You don't wanna be wearing those with other very flamboyant items as well, because it could become overload in the outfit. So keep the rest of the ensemble of clothing neutral if you're wearing one very bold item within the outfit. Otherwise, it can be too much. It can be visually exhausting when people meet you, taking in all of these strong colors. So keep it just in proportion, in balance. Um, and then you wanna to think to yourself, what occasions am I going to wear these boots for? So I know in Frank's case, he can employ them within his workplace because you know, he dresses smartly, often in a suit and quite uh, you know, buoyant colors actually within, his, within the images I've seen of Frank. You know, he can wear them in that context because he has a much more theatrical outlet in which to wear his clothing than perhaps the ordinary guy. But if your daily life it involves quite a smart working attire, you know, red suede boots, not really something you can shoehorn excuse the pun, into that sort of ensemble of clothing. Or if you're, <laughs> so we go to the extremes, you know, if you're an undertaker, it's not gonna work. Or if the, the situations where you dress up a little are quite formal in nature, how are you going to employ those boots? Are they gonna be purely for your casual situations? But then again, you've got to think, in your casual situations, do you normally wear training shoes? Is this something which isn't going to fit in in the environment which you wear the rest of your clothing? So think about how it will fit into your life. And if it's not a good fit, maybe go for something that isn't quite so strong in color. And finally, 
the one thing which you're definitely going to need to wear something as bold as red suede Chelsea boots is confidence, all right? Are you capable of pulling off an item of clothing which is so strong, so visually apparent to the people around you, they're gonna stare at it. You're gonna get compliments about it. People are certainly going to comment on your footwear because it's outside of the norm that you typically wear. So do you have the confidence to carry it off and not feel that, you know, the boots are wearing you? You should be wearing the boots, not the boots wearing you. That's the way you need to think about it. It's about the confidence. And I know Frank's gonna have no issue because he's used to people looking at him. He's a performer. But the average guy might find such a strong, powerful color to be somewhat overwhelming if you don't have the confidence to carry them off. So those were my thoughts for Frank. Uh, just, and for anybody else really, who's thinking of investing in an item of footwear Maybe any other item as well. All of the things I've talked about could be applied to, you know, a strong colored boating blazer or a, a sort of ebullient colored waistcoat. You can apply the same thought processes, but apply them and then make your decision to purchase in the confidence to knowledge that those items are going to fit nicely and dovetail into your existing collections of clothing and you're gonna wear them and you're gonna go out there and feel strong and powerful and the best version of yourself when wearing those things. I hope that's been helpful. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. If you'd like to contribute to the channel, you can leave me a comment, you can send me an email, you could buy me a coffee or even become a patron. If you become a patron, you will benefit from the additional video content which I produce every week in which I answer more questions like this, but on a more intimate level because it's a smaller venue. So, until the next time, stride out into the world putting your best foot forward, even if that best foot has a red suede Chelsea boot on it. And I will see you again very soon.